I'm going to be making some hard gel nails today and the products I'm going to be using are the Savvy Land Milk Tea as well as Clear, the Golden that I made, Champagne Gold, I'm not going to be using the rest of these but I'm still going to name them, Mirage Gold, Apricot, Rose Gold, hey, hey, and Antique Brass. So I'm going to be using Golden which is this one right here and Champagne Gold and so I really like hard gel it's it's just my new go-to thing it's just so much easier to work with and it's so much more sturdier than just regular gel polish so the builder gel the hard gel that i made i use the ibd builder gel and so what i'm doing right here is i'm just getting that stuff off my brush and i'm going into the golden champagne well champagne gold but i'm um going in with that and at first I was going to be trying to do a line down the middle but as I was doing it I was like uh, that ain't really what I want to do for this nail so I'm going to be going to going in with full coverage of this and uh I like to I left it a little bit sheer in the beginning because I'm going to be doing some other stuff with this middle nail so I do cure that in a lamp for 30 seconds I just do a flash cure and I'm going to be applying several different coats of gel to these nails excuse me let me speak correctly hard gel to these nails um, well this nail in particular and I like to either hold my finger I like to flip my finger upside down and let gravity do its thing and as well as like laying my hand off to the side like holding my hand down so that way it will cause the gel to pull down and so right here what i'm doing is i'm going to be going in with a very thin coat of the milk tea and i'm going to be creating a slip layer so what that does is when i go in with the bigger bead of hard gel the gel will go exactly where i have placed the other well the slip layer so i'm going to be going in with a pretty generous coat but what I end up doing is I end up taking most of that off and applying it to my index finger. And the reason for that is because I want them to kind of be still sheer, but I didn't want them to be too, too sheer. I know you're probably like, what are you talking about? So I still want them to be sheer, but I didn't want them to be sheer to the point to where like if the nail hit something, it would break. So what you're going to be seeing me do right here is take that excess gel, excess gel off and putting it onto my index finger. And so I'm going to be doing the same thing with this finger. I'm going to be um, using that gel that's already on there, creating a slip layer and then going in with a little big, a bigger um bead of gel hard gel and putting it onto the nail i think that's what i do let's see is that what she do she did it nope she didn't do it so then right here what i'm doing is i'm doing it like a um ombre type effect my bad so i did an ombre type effect with this and so i end up building this nail up um I was going to leave it as it was, but I didn't really like it like that. And I didn't want there to be like, there is going to be a line of demarcation, but I didn't want it to be like super duper prominent. So I am going to be going in and out, in and out with this nail. And so I'm using the golden and I'm, this one uh, for my ring finger. I had to look at it for my ring finger is going to be a full coverage nail. And we just going to apply this thing all the way through. So I didn't start working on my pinky right away because I still didn't know what I wanted to do with that. But I did know that I didn't want to, I want to do something different from what I would normally do. Because normally I just paint all my nails one color. But with this set, I want to do something a little bit different. Something that I used to do early on when I started doing my nails. And so I'm going to be applying another coat of this. <clears throat> and so I think I just did, I believe, yeah, so I only did like two coats of the golden on this nail, as well as um, when I do my pinky, I did end up doing a split. So half of the nail is golden and the other half is the champagne gold. And I did that because um, 
yeah, I think it just makes the, it just brings together the nail set. So I'm realizing that I really like nude, which is what the milk tea is by Savvy Land. And so I was like, bro, like you got to stay away from nude nails. But then I said to myself, I said, self, myself said, huh? I said, why should we stay away from nude nails? We ain't got to. So I am going in with another coat of this, um, I'm about to say clear, child, milk tea. And it is just going to be like a thin, even coat of it. And um, so that is going to be the last that I use the milk tea on my thumb and index fingers. So now I am to the pinky and um, I'm just going to be taking the golden and making sure that the line of demarcation that I'm making is very straight as possible and that I've applied the product exactly where I want the product to be. I applied two coats of the golden and then I applied two coats of champagne gold to this pinky nail. So now we're going to go in with some um, gold and copper-ish flakes. And I bought these from AliExpress. So I'm just going to be going over the lines of demarcation. So at first, um, I didn't necessarily think that I wanted to put a lot. But as, as I started putting the copper on, I was like, ooh, I really, really like this. I like this. I like this. So what I ended up doing was um, applying a generous amount of the copper into the middle and then using the gold as accents on either side of the copper. Um, the pinky nail, what I ended up doing was just going straight down the line of demarcation and alternating with 
gold, copper, gold, copper, so on and so forth. And once I was happy with the results of what I saw, I took my finger and um, I did not, I want to say that I did not wipe off the tacky layer. I just went in with the, um, and you'll see, <laughs> I just went in with the gold flakes. And so um, once I was happy with the result, what I ended up doing was pressing the um, gold flakes into my nail so that way they would lay flat and flush with the nail and not be sticking up. So once you get to, I do end up putting chains on the nails as you can see from the thumbnail. However, a lot of that footage was not it was I don't know I don't know what happened it's technology okay it just it, it happens sometimes so what ended what I ended up doing was I did put um use my McCart Mac art I used my Mac art um rhinestone glue to adhere the chain and you'll see that part of the video but what you don't get to see is how I go back in with the Mac art um rhinestone glue and go over the chain and I went over the chain because I don't want the chain to fall off I want to try to keep the chain as long as possible and that also protects the chain's color um and it'll keep it it'll allow it to stay gold and so once I was done with that um and I do apply chains to the index and ring finger the ring finger footage I guess somebody you know came and grabbed it I don't know I don't know where it went sis and so I did the same thing with that although you won't be able to see it and I went over that as well and then off camera I did apply some um SS12 vintage rose for Swarovski crystals to the um what, what nail is this to the pinky and to the middle fingernails and so I did that because I just felt like both of those nails was missing something extra. And I do like how the vintage rose stands, you know, holds its own up against the copper and the gold. So this has been, oh, and I topped it off with a very, I topped them all off with a very generous, juicy layer of my Beatles top coat. I just want to see if this is a top coat that I would like be implementing for myself. I don't know, sis. I just, because mm -hmm. I'm looking for a top coat that just gives me that, that kick, gives me that pop. So this has been Journey with Wendy. I'm she, her, and Wendy. New videos are posted every Tuesday and Thursday. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just capping off what I, um, all of the nail art, not nail art. Oh, she tripping. I'm capping off the paint that I did before, the gel colors that I used before. I'm just capping it off with a thick, a thin layer of clear and I do that because I want to ensure that it is as seamless and as nice as possible and it also gives the nail more strength because I like to work in thin layers so if I ever like you know hit my nail on something it won't it may not break right away so now this has been Journey with Wendy I'm she her and Wendy New videos are posted every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes on Wednesday, depending on what's going on. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them down below or hit your girl up at Journey with Wendy with an I, not a Y, at gmail.com. And with that, you know what that means that your girl is wet, that your girl is a.